I, 23, F, just found heartbreaking emails between my fiancé, 27, M, and his ex, 24, F. Hi Reddit, I need your help. I have been friends with A for a few years through closer mutual friends. When we met we got along instantly and we were attracted to each other but he was living with his later GF, B at the time, and I didn't want anything to do with that. About 8 or 9 months ago he split with B. I was in his town with our mutual friends and we ended up pairing off and spending some amazing time together. Nothing in SFW, just laughing and joking and chatting like I never have before. My friends went home the next day and I stayed for another 2 weeks. During this time he told me that him and A had been dead bedroom for the last 2 years and had been living like friends. She had even spent most of the last 6 months in another state with her family because they both knew they had broken up but had to stay living together because she was in school. She has now left and moved back to her home state on the opposite coast. Basically, we quickly fell into a relationship and it was the happiest either of us have ever been. After a few weeks he came to visit me in my state and never left. We got a new place together of our own and everything felt great. My only issue was that he had to quit his job to move over so I was the only one working. B owed A some money so I was aware he was speaking to her still but I did catch some of the messages that had been going on while I was at work and they were a little too friendly. Nothing hugely out of order but just, as if they never split up. I spoke to him about this and he told me he was just trying to keep her sweet until he got the money that, to be honest, we really needed. A few months later, I thought it was all over with between them and A had given up on the money. He got a message while I was on the laptop and I saw that it was a rant about his ugly new girlfriend in your ugly flat, you're gonna get stuck in some dead end job and get stuck with ugly kids. I had to put my foot down at that point. I sent her a message from his account, in front of him, with his permission, saying my future has nothing to do with you, keep the money and do not contact me again. And that was the end of it for another 4 months. During which time we were madly in love, very very happy, and he even proposed. I know that's not a lot of time, but at the time it felt right. We had known since we first met. Or at least I thought so. Tonight he is working late. I went over to the computer and found his emails open. I typed in her name out of curiosity. I don't know why. Nothing. Phew. Then I checked his instant messaging. There's one long conversation between them that alludes to other conversations taking place. She tells him she still loves him. That she has a chance with another guy but wants to know if there's a chance for them before she pursues anything new. He tells her he still loves her, that he always will. That he's not in a position to leave right now, as he's tied down with the house. He tells her he owes a lot to me for helping him and that he doesn't want to hurt me. They essentially agree that fate will bring them back together but for now to get on with the rest of their lives and to try not to ruffle any feathers. There are messages between them time stamped at the exact same time that I called him on my way home from work. It ends with him saying he has to go to work, in truth it was me about to come home and that she should contact him on his other email in the future. I am in absolute state. I can't stop crying. I started this relationship with serious trust issues after my last harmful relationship. It took a lot to get the guts to try again. I went for it because he assured me he was a trustworthy and honest, good man. Everybody did. And he isn't. He's back in two hours. What do I do? TL, doctor, boyfriend sent a load of mushy, not sleazy, messages to his ex-GF. Edit, quick update, thank you for your advice. It really helps to empower me when I feel like crawling into a corner and staying there. I forgot to mention that we have a housemate that rents our spare room out at the moment. He just walked past and asked if I was okay, which I obviously aren't. I briefly told him what was going on and my phone was blowing up from my BF as soon as housemate went into his room so I'm guessing he told A. I didn't answer the calls but I messaged him saying I know everything. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm leaving for a while. Now I'm gonna pack my bags and get out of here, I don't know where to. Hi guys, I promise to love you if you like, comment, and subscribe. Am I the only one surprised it's been 8 months since he broke up with this ex and she's calling him fiancé which I'm guessing it means they are engaged? You probably were rushing too much in this relationship, 
he's not over her yet. Yeah I know. I told him it was ridiculous at the time. It was more of a plan for the future thing rather than a start planning immediately. Obviously stupid. My, 33F, husband, 44, has been cheating on me online sitting right next to me on the couch. He wants forgiveness. And I need help. I've been with Michael for 7 years and I saw myself with him for the rest of my entire life. He's my absolute everything. He's cared for me, protected me, loved me. Everything. I'm absolutely destroyed. Basically, for the past few weeks we'd be sitting on the couch like we always have, after work or whatever. I noticed sometimes he would put his back against the arm of the couch, to where he'd be directly facing me but I'm sitting forward. And he'd be typing away on his phone. I asked him about it after maybe the third time, and he said oh it's just business. And that seemed legit. He has a lot of clients, this man is very very sweet. We go out in public, and he'd never do so much as to check out a woman with me there. He'd never do anything to hurt me, and for these 7 years I've never been happier with my soulmate. Friday night it happened yet again, like every single night. Which I admit, from the beginning it made me mostly uncomfortable because I felt like all his attention was on what I thought were clients, while he was sitting next to me. But it get over it, but this time, he forgot his sound was on and some chick sent him a dirty video. So of course, I hear something bad and I looked at him and he said stupid ads. And closed things out quick, but he was very. Awkward seeming. And I said Michael. What was that really? And he tried to keep lying until I asked him to show me his phone if he isn't lying. So he did some stuff before handing it over, and I was of course suspicious just of that. But gave him a chance. While looking through things the chick messaged him again. What came up was well baby, do you like that one? Is it good enough until I see you again? Kissing face, my husband seemed to know because he looked devastated and said baby, I can explain. I promise. And I gave him his phone and I got up and went to our bedroom and locked him out. We talked last night, and he told me everything. He said his co-worker's sister came to work one day, saw him and was flirty. She's a younger girl, 23 I believe, and he said he felt flattered, but he never meant for all of this to happen. I've never seen him cry like he did then. But I feel like I can't look at him the same. He's been having romance with me, and having romance with her even stupid romantic things on his phone. I'm literally broken. I need some advice. This is the only time he's ever done this, but I'm afraid it wouldn't be the last. Please somebody help me. Hess begging for forgiveness, has said he quit his job, he'll never have female friends won't be friends with the girl's brother at Tict. Help. TL, doctor, husband of 7 years has been cheating on me with his best friend's younger sister, said it made him feel flattered that she liked him so much. He's begging for forgiveness. Do I forgive or do I get a divorce started? The rest of our marriage has been the most amazing thing I could imagine. He never meant for this to happen is total BS. He's been flirting with and ducking this girl for weeks, that isn't something that people do on accident. The only reason he's being so remorseful now is because he's been found out and knows he may lose you. It's very likely he will do it again if you stay together, so I'd get checked for STDs and GTFO. He cared for me, protected me, loved me also he lied to you, cheated on you, potentially gave you STDs, dropped a nuclear bomb on your relationship, took advantage of your being naive, yeah, the list goes on. Time to take the blinders off. He's scum. Well, the first thing is that you only found out because you caught him. You have no idea if he would ever have told you. So, can you trust him again, under any circumstances? He's only sorry because he got caught. Leave him and find someone that will treat you right.